Papa was handing, yo. Come here, Trill. Fuck with your boy. Talk to me. I talk back, man. You know what the fuck going on. Vlog coming soon. You know, I mean, vlog's gonna be motherfucking coming tonight, tomorrow. Either or. You're gonna see a lot of motherfucking vlogs soon, pretty soon. But I'm gonna tell y'all a story. Well, first of all, I found some motherfucking weed next to my bed when I got home. I was like, damn, what the fuck's in here? It's been there for a while. I swear to God, it's been there for a while. Have not been home for a couple motherfucking weeks. And I really don't know how long the weed's been there, but... I was like, damn, all right, that's cool. Fucking with it. Thank you to the universe for blessing me with this marriage you You know what I'm saying? Compliant, California compliant. You know what I'm saying, man? You know what I'm saying? All right, anyways. Shit, enough with all that. And, um, so I'm going to tell y'all a story on when I motherfucking threw up at the bar. No, it wasn't the bar. It was at a bowling alley with a bar. And, um, yeah, I threw up. Motherfuckers would not let me back in because they, they saw me on camera. This is the first... No, this is... Yeah, this is the first time they did not let me back in or into a motherfucking bar, period. It's going to be the last time. Oh, my God. Let me tell you what. And let me tell you how that happened and what I learned from it and how I'm going to change my behavior so that never happens again. All right? Okay, so I was with a couple people. A couple of my co-workers, you know what I'm saying? A couple of co-workers, associates, you feel me? And they had went out to go to the store, get some shit. And um, I was like, you know what? I know these motherfuckers, they're, they want to go out. So I'm like, all right, bet. While I wait here, because I just got back from the gym, going to go shower and do all that shit. So I went to the motherfucking, uh, the closest liquor store or alcohol store, whatever you want to call it, but it wasn't a liquor store, it was like a beer and wine shop, so yeah, went there, got me, uh, I wasn't gonna get some Hennessy, I wasn't gonna get some Hennessy, but I was like, you know what, I don't fuck with these motherfuckers like that, so I ain't gonna motherfucking be dropping hella dough for these motherfuckers to drink my goddamn Hennessy, you know what I'm saying, but if it's my niggas, if it's my people, or if it's me, I'm gonna get that Hennessy, you know what I'm saying, so I got that new Amsterdam, it was some, I right, fucking with it, I got some new Amsterdam, it was... This, the pineapple, the pineapple flavor, the yellow one, I believe that's the pineapple flavor. Pineapple, mango, whatever the fuck it was, but it was the yellow one. It's pretty good. I, 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 I fucks with it. So, I went ahead and I got that shit, went back to the spot, put it in the freezer. When they got back, I took like three, four shots back to back, and these motherfuckers were just sipping on that drink. But, you know, when your boy goes in, your boy goes in, you know what I'm saying? Because mama ain't raised no half-stepper. I ain't no half-stepper. I ain't no motherfucking quitter, nigga. I'm all in. I'm all motherfucking in. 125%, baby. Well, I was all motherfucking in. I was doing my thing. Drink, drink, drink. We pretty much killed the whole bottle between three people. I took, I always just straight, straight taking shots, baby. And you know me? You know, I pulled them big boy shots out. Pop, pop, pop. Took about four, five shots. You know what I'm saying? Four, five shots. They were only like I only pulled them out like two drinks, two drinks each. You know what I'm saying? They were mixing it. They didn't want to drink like that, or they couldn't. I don't know. Whatever. So fast forward, we go to the gas. No, no, we go to the bowling alley. They let us in. It was it was free after nine. I was like, cool for show. Sure. Free after nine, we started getting our drinks. Started doing whatever. Blah blah blah. I go to, I'm already, I'm already kind of motherfucking feeling myself at this point. You know what I'm saying? I'm already feeling myself. So I was like, fuck it. Get me a Hennessy and Coke. I always get me a Hennessy and Coke when I go out. Hennessy and Coke. But you see, where I fucked up was, I forgot that I had some, some vodka earlier. I forgot about that shit. Oh my God. So I drank that shit. It was cool. You know what I'm saying? I finished my drink. Go get another drink. And I was looking at the menu. I was like, huh, I'm going to try out some some of the shit that they had on the shit on, on the motherfucking menu. There is this some kind of drink. It, it was like, it came with a shot and a fruity motherfucking beer. I was like, all right, bet. It's cool. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to fuck with it. I'm going to try this drink out. And I was like, cool. And a shot. Bet, nigga. So I got that bitch. And um, they were bowling. The My other associate, this chick. Cheers, she's like, cheers, I'm like, oh, for sure, cheers. But yeah, yeah, we're like, boom, I take this, I take a shot of Jack Daniels after I already sipped on some of the beer. So at this point, I had dark, I had no, I had clear, dark, some beer, and this fucking Jack Daniels shot. You know, I didn't know it was a Jack Daniels shot. Like, I was, I was already pretty drunk at this point where I was like, I didn't know, like, I forgot to ask the motherfucker what kind of shot it was. Like, when I got my drink, I bet I'm gonna go back to the spot, blah, 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 go back to my lane. And, um, 
yeah, I took that shot and I was, and I, I was about to go to the bathroom. So I take that shot and I walk up, back up the shit to use the bathroom. And I, as I walk up, I, I was like, oh fuck, this is not happening. Like, I, it felt like heartburn, bro. Like it didn't feel like I was gonna throw up. It felt like motherfucking heartburn. You know, like when you burp, like, like after you eat some greasy ass motherfucking soul food or whatever, some greasy shit that you should, you know, you shouldn't be motherfucking eating, but you feeling yourself, so you're like, fuck it, dog. I ate that shit. Oh no, no, I didn't eat that. Well, I mean, I ate before, but anyways, like I thought I was like I thought I was just burping. So, I, I was like, and so I walk and, I, and I'm, oh my god, and I'm like, oh, god damn it, I'm motherfucking burp, and I, I burp that shit out, and I, and it's like I'm like the shot came back out. It was so gross. There were like chunks of some of the food. I don't, I don't even remember what the fuck I ate, but I threw up like literally like it wasn't that much. It was just, like two puddles. But that, you know what I'm saying? Like right in front of the motherfucking um the uh the front the like the front where you walk, where you first walk in and um, they give you your bowling shoe. I threw up like right in front of that shit, but there's nobody there. I was looking around like, oh fuck, should I like fucking ask somebody to that that I that I just you know what I'm saying? And I clean this shit up, but I didn't see anybody. So I was like, oh, fuck. I'm just going straight to the bathroom. Go to the bathroom. After I finished taking a piss, I look down. I look in the mirror. Oh, my God. My fucking dress shirt, dog. My dress shirt was all fucked up, bro. All fucked up. It was like it was like a couple stains, you know what I'm saying? A couple stains. I was like, fuck. This is gross. And I had to wash that bitch out. I washed it out. Long story short, after I washed it out, I went to, uh, back to the lane. You know what I'm saying? Like, ain't nothing ever happened. <laughs> I went back like it nothing ever motherfucking happened. Oh my god. I went back like nothing ever motherfucking happened. And um Oh my god. And then when I went out to go smoke my my, my little thing, they wouldn't let me back in and the, the security guard was like, I can't let you back in after you threw up. I was like, damn. I was like walking out with with, with my drink too. I was like, damn, bro. So I was like, all right, fuck it. I'm going to just kill this shit. I'm going to give it back to the motherfucker. I didn't make a scene because I was like, damn, bro. They caught my ass on motherfucking camera throwing up. It's kind of embarrassing. I never really threw, I never threw up. I never throw up like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, I never really throw up. I mean, I do. So, I mean, not never, never. But about 90% of the time, I don't fucking throw up. I can hold my liquor. But, oh, my God. Never mixing ever again. They're just saying that, um, what is it? Beer or beer before beer before clear or a beer something like that beer before liquor you're in the clear i think i think that's the saying but don't quote me on it you can look it up and uh yeah that's the story of me motherfucking throwing up at the bar or at the um at the bowling alley they wouldn't let me back in you know what i'm saying so learn from my mistakes so you don't gotta go through that i don't mix i mean if you can hold your liquor cool but if you're um you know someone like me or you I ain't uh, one of those alcohol savages. I am not an alcohol savage, so I therefore I do not hold my liquor. I will admit that. So yeah, talk to me. I talk back. Follow your boy on Instagram, Mayor Trill.